you often um, stress to your students to practice astrology as part of a spiritual sadhana. You see, it is, it, it is like this. People do according to their background. Some are very greedy. They want to make money. They do make money for some time, five, six, seven, eight years they prosper. Then after that, they and their family suffer very badly. I warn them, I tell them, be careful. Today you are cheating someone, your karma will boomerang and you will also suffer. You will not escape your karma. Mm -hmm. But they become blind at that moment, they begin to do all the cheating. And later when they suffer, it is too late. It's a tragedy. So I said, don't do that. If you become professional at all, become honest professional. Mm -hmm. Do it honestly, charge honestly. That's all. Stop there. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong in that. Mm -hmm. But the temptation to earn a lot of money and therefore charge a heavy fees and charge heavily for remedial measures is not astrology. It is cheating, downright cheating. But that is happening. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, one girl whom I had known here in Delhi since 1978 from London was here. She is married. I had given her a prediction. She would marry and go abroad. She is she, in London. She is prosperous. She, is, her, she and her husband are doing some business in lands, estate. I asked her about uh, this. She said, Indian astrologers are appearing in TV channels also in London now, in England. And doing the same thing which they are doing in India, cheating. So, like an infection, this cheating is spreading. So, those who do astrology as a spiritual sadhana benefit immensely, mm. tremendously, mm. because their sadhana begins to have a strong spiritual base. Mm. Then they do, don't get easily shaken up. Mm -hmm. So, you're saying, <clears throat> for the astrologer themselves to practice a spiritual sadhana. Astrologers, if they do spiritual sadhana, it is excellent. Old astrologers were doing it and at a later stage, they reduced their astrological activity very little. For example, I see only five, six or seven horoscopes per week now, in a week. Earlier, I was seeing 10 horoscopes per day. I got such a huge collection of horoscopes. So I have reduced it. Because you have to reduce and devote more of your time to your japam, your sadhana, your meditation. Mm -hmm. So that should go on. Some of the astrologers will do that as they grow. Some of them will be greedy till the end of their lives. But many of these greedy astrologers don't live long. They die prematurely, leaving a lot of tragedies for their family and for their children. Are there any specific um, practices that you recommend astrologers follow? Well, in modern, hectic times, you cannot follow the old system. When I was a child, I used to see these astrologers getting up early in the morning, doing their worship, then, one or two hours after sunrise, sitting down to do astrology, people came to them from, say, 7 o'clock Indian time after sunrise to 10 or 11 o'clock they would do it. Then they would go take their lunch, rest for some time, again come at 2 o'clock and do it up to 4 or 5 till sunset. They were not doing it before sunrise, they were not doing it after sunset. Now, these days, I do most of astrology only after sunset because I was doing during my service career. Service career, I was busy in the office during daytime, so I could do it only after sunrise. That change has, has to be made. So, if you can follow that old discipline, that is excellent. Sit down, do your worship, then do astrology. Your moral excellence increases and your concentration is very good there and the predictive success is much greater there. 
if you do astrology after worship, your predictions qualitatively improve. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we can't do that in the city life as we are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then as far as possible, <coughs> if a needy man comes, do astrology free for him. Even if you are a professional charging heavily, keep some time ready also for those needy men who cannot afford to pay. That ideal should be there. But anyway, in the mercenary culture of our times, that ideal has vanished. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.